Today I'd like to talk to you about proper waste disposal in the microbiology lab. There are five separate types of waste disposal containers in the micro lab. They're designated in two ways. Those items that are sharp or non-sharp and those items that are or are not a biohazard. For our purposes, the definition of the word infectious or biohazard will mean that the item has more living microbes or unusual living microbes on it than an everyday item. An example of this type of item would be a petri plate we have used to grow a large sample of bacteria. Waste disposal containers for biohazard infectious items will always be red in color. If a liner is present, it should have a biohazard symbol on it. Items that are non-infectious or non-biohazard are by no means microbe free but have normal amounts and types of microbes living on them. An example of this could be gloves worn while handling the outside of a petri dish that contain bacteria. If these gloves did not come into contact with the bacteria on the plate, they could be disposed of in the regular trash. For our purposes, the definition of the word sharp will mean any item that can easily penetrate the skin, such as a glass microscope slide. Items that are non-sharp will not normally penetrate the skin, such as a plastic culture tube. After examination and recording of results, glass culture tubes would be disposed of next to the autoclave in the designated area to await sterilization and disposal. Take notice of the difference between plastic and glass tubes. Glass tubes are much larger and have a push cap top, while the plastic tubes are much smaller, also smaller in diameter, and have a double stick top like this. So combining all the possibilities of the five options we discussed, we have non-infectious, non-biohazard, non-sharp, which is the gray metal container with a clear liner and is also known as the regular trash container. There's the non-infectious, non-biohazard sharp, which is the white and blue cardboard box with a clear liner. Infectious biohazard non-sharps is easily recognized as the red oval plastic container with a bright yellow or red liner. Infectious biohazard sharps, which is always red and squared in appearance, contains no liner. The area designated next to the autoclave is for glass culture tube disposal. When in doubt, do not assume the item you are disposing of goes in an infectious biohazard container. In a clinical setting, infectious or biohazard waste is highly regulated and expensive to dispose of. Instead, when in doubt, ask yourself first these two questions. Are there more or different microbes on the item that you are disposing of than on a normal item? And can this item easily penetrate the skin? So those are the five types of waste disposal you can encounter in the microbiology lab. Thanks for watching and remember, if you can't do it safely, it's not worth doing.